In today's how-to video, we're going to go over how to plot your position on a paper chart. Now, chart plotting is very, very important to know because if your electronics go out, paper charts are all that you have left. So it's really, really good to know exactly how to plot them and to plot your position because based on your points that you've plotted, you can then extrapolate and do a whole bunch of things with navigation. We actually used chart plotting with paper charts on our way across the Atlantic. And every day at noon, we'd plot where our position was, and that way we had a little breadcrumb trail in case something happened. So this is a paper chart of the entire North Atlantic. We're looking at just the corner of it. In the left-hand side, the one that goes vertical, it's going to be your latitude. And then on the bottom, that scale is going to be your longitude. Now this correlates to north-south dimension, and east-west dimension. Now, to plot a point, you need a compass, a pencil, and your coordinates. The coordinates, you can get them from a sextant, from GPS, from a friend, however you want to get them, as long as you have them. Once you have your coordinates, then you need to plot them on the paper chart. So it's important to remember that the chart is divided into degrees and minutes. Now, there's 60 minutes in one degree. It's better to think of them as hours instead of degrees if that makes it easier at first. So you have seconds, minutes, and hours, and it's 60, 60, and then 1. So every degree of latitude is 60 miles, and every minute of latitude is 1 nautical mile. So when you have 60, you've gone a full degree. So say you're given coordinates, and you're supposed to rendezvous at X position, and the position would be, let's go with 11 degrees and 35 minutes north and 79 degrees and 40 minutes west. So let's start with the latitude. What you're gonna do is find 11 degrees and 35 minutes. Now you have the general idea that it's gonna be somewhere here north of Panama, but where exactly is it? So. To find 11 degrees and 35 minutes, you're going to use this scale here. So each one of these solid lines is 1 degree, the half mark is 30 minutes, and each little guy is 5 minutes. So 11 degrees, you're going to open your compass, 11, 30, and then 5. So there's your distance. Now this line here is 10 degrees on the entire chart. So you know that if you put the bottom end of the compass on it, the top end is going to be at 11 and 35. So it's good to kind of swipe it around and find the point. And then you can just put a little light mark just in case you're not on the spot with the longitude. So there's that one. Then you're going to do 79 and 40. So you'll go to 80 and you're at 79 and then you're going to start closing. So now you're at 79, 30. 35 and there you're at 79 and 40 minutes so you're gonna come up here you have your very faint little dot there so you know that the latitude that the longitude is gonna be there so then you can just put the little tiny mark there so now you know that is your latitude and this is your longitude so since this one's better marked we're gonna get our 1135 again and come back here and we're right on it so now we know that this point that would be the rendezvous point 11 degrees and 35 minutes north and 79 and 40 degrees west so that is how you plot a point on a chart when you are given the coordinates now you want to find the coordinates of a certain place on the chart like for example, you want to come into West End in the Bahamas on the Abacos, which is actually where we checked in when we went to the Bahamas. So you know it's at this point. So what you're going to do is you'll find the latitude and the longitude of it. So this line correlates with 80 degrees west all the way up and down the chart. So we find that point to the line and then we come down here to the scale 
and that is one full degree. So we know that that is 79 degrees west. And then for the north-south, so looking at the chart, it's right here. So we have one line up here and a second latitude line down here. It's a bigger distance to this one than it is to that one. So for simplicity's sake, we're going to find off of this line. So what you do is you set your compass again, and then you're just going to open it until it reaches that line, which is the 30 degree north line. So then we come over to the scale, and we put the top pin at 30 degree north, and then we can calculate from here. So we can see 25, 26, 30 minutes, 35, 40, and about halfway through. So it's about 42 minutes and 30 seconds. So that would be the coordinate. So from this chart, we can extrapolate that Grand Bahama is located at 79 degrees west and 26 degrees and 42 minutes north. Now it's important that when you write on your charts, you write in pencil and write very lightly because if you have to erase them, you can't erase pen. So with that, you have the very basics on how to plot your position on a chart. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.